End Time Prophecy channel. Um, I'm Sister Barbara and I'm here today with the prophecy that I didn't actually expect to get. Um, so join me in the um, King James Version Bible. I'm going to be in the book of Matthew, uh, Matthew chapter 7, <clears throat> um, verse 23. To me this is the scariest, the absolute scariest um, scripture in the entire Bible. Let's go one earlier. Let's see. Let's start at 21. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works? And then I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work in equity. Whoa, you don't ever want to hear this. I swear, this keeps me straight in the, on the straight path, on the righteous path. This keeps me on the narrow path. Just to think that our Lord would say that to you. Can you imagine that? I can't. I never knew you. Imagine hearing that in judgment. Oh, gosh. Let's see. Here we go. Now, I got this. I wasn't expecting this, actually. But wait till you hear it. It's a major humdinger again. I can't see. The lighting is horrible in here. Let's see. How about this way? I called you, and you did not answer. I knocked, and you did not open. Instead, you continued in your wickedness, openly flaunting your perversions, adultery, and fornication. Evil men with evil thoughts hiding in the darkness to commit evil acts. I see everything. You did not humble yourself before and ask for forgiveness. Humble yourself before me and ask for forgiveness. I never knew you, yet you claim you belong to me. You lie, cheat, and steal in an effort to store up treasures. Yes, I am speaking to you. Soon I will show all of your evil deeds in the light, and I will review them with you. Nothing you did to others went unnoticed or unrecorded. You have broken my commandments, several. Yet you have not repented or asked for mercy. Why? Pride and lust. Look about judgment is upon the nations. I have only begun to deal with this wicked gen last generation. Wow. I am sending pestilence, famine, and war. I am sending flooding, fire, and earthquakes. I am shaking the heavens. Fire will rain down from above. I am giving you over to your own perverted desires, just as I had done in Sodom and Gomorrah. Wow. I will, I will send silence. I will cover the land with darkness. Those who belong to me will be safe until it passes over them. Just as I protected my children in Egypt, I will protect my own now. Let it be done. Whoa. Wow. That made my hair stand up. Especially when he says I'm speaking to you. So examine yourself. Is he speaking to you? Are you hiding things? Is there something going on in your life that you're, you're not um, turning away from? Sin. He said you've broken commandments, several of them. Think about it. Think about it. Does this apply to you and you're ignoring it? Think. This is it. We're at the end. If I could go out on that balcony by myself, I'd be out there screaming this on the balcony and the people in the condo would think I'm completely out of my mind. But that is how urgent this is. I want to go out there and scream it. I'll knock on everybody's door and tell them. You need to do the same. Examine yourself. Are you falling into the category he's talking about? Adultery? Fornication? You all know what that is. You're adults. Think about it. Does this apply to you? How can I say it any better? This is it. We're at the end. I could just scream this and people are going to be saying, what is with this lady in the condo? Yes, I could be screaming this because does it apply to you? You don't want him to say to you, I never knew you. This is urgent. 
get ready, things are happening. You see, you already saw the bombing on TV. Well, on the news, I saw it. I was like, my mouth hung open when I saw it. I don't watch the news. I just put it on today and somebody had a video out there. This could be us, the same thing. I saw the mushroom cloud on, on the video of the bombing. You don't know what they have planned for us. This could be your last breath today. You don't know that. You need to get yourself straightened out. How can I say it any better? Examine yourself. Turn away from your sin. If you're in a sinful relationship, get out of it right now. Get away from it. It's the devil trying to drag you down to hell with him. He wants a big party down there with everybody he can get. That's, that's what his plan is. He makes it sound so fun and great. It isn't. It's hell and burning forever. Get out of the relationship. Get away from the person that's dragging you down. Stop doing it and turn away. I can't put it any other way. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm going off on a tangent, but this could be the last time you hear this. Your breath could be up and that's it. We're gone. You don't know what's going to happen. We could get nuked in five minutes from now, and this could be the last thing you heard. Turn from your sin and repent right now. Get on your knees. Get on the floor. I used to lay on the floor. This is what how I used to pray on the floor. I used to lay face down on the floor. That is how I prayed. I can't do it now, unfortunately, with the hand that's just trying to come back. Please work. I can't do it now, but that's how I used to pray. That's what you should be doing. Be on your knees on the floor, begging for forgiveness, begging for mercy. I just mentioned to my, my friend um, Timothy on there, um, he said possibly that people or him are too far gone and, and it doesn't apply for them. No one is too far gone for God. That is the d definition of mercy. You get something that you don't deserve. That is God. He's a God of mercy. He will forgive you. He'll forgive your sins and he'll remember them no more. That is written. It's not, I'm not just making this stuff. Get a Bible, read it. Know what's going on. Turn from your sin. Get straightened out now. This could be your last day. Take care of yourself and do it. Let your family know what's going on. They need to know what's going on too. And if you're being a bad example to your children in some sort of horrible relationship, get out of it right now. Don't let the children see it. You're the example. How could I put this any simpler? This is it. We're at the end. Do you see this message? Um, when I put the transcription under there, I'm going to see if I could do it from my, um, what do you call it? my my um, Kindle. Read it and think about it. Post it on your page. Let everybody see it. This is it. We're at the end. I can hear my thing dinging. It must, something must be going on. Once again, this is it. We're at the end. Um, I'm thanking everyone for everything you do, all the encouraging comments under the videos, the transcriptions in other languages. I'm um, thanking everyone for everything that you send in the mail to me. Um, I have a whole bunch of lovely cards over there. And Jill, this is fabulous. This is outstanding. Me and you like the same things. And we're sisters. How about that? That's why we do. Thank you for sending me those pictures. I really enjoyed them. Thank you so much for the gift. We love you. All right, better go. Right, I'm sorry. I have to go off on a tangent here. People don't understand this. Those people that got bombed, they were probably just humming along. They never expected it. How about my prophecy? You won't see it coming. They didn't see it coming. They're dead now. Dead, injured, maimed, or whatever. They didn't see it coming. That's it. We're going to get the same thing. Be safe. God bless you.